Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system, the human body is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about medication, ingredients, formulations, the longevity products, skin care, skin health. We are talking about skin health, and we've been talking about the skin now for, for months, for probably eight or nine months, and we'll continue talking about skin health. If you have questions about eczema, rosacea, psoriasis, all of these skin issues, like, like all the issues that go on in the body, all the degenerative health challenges that go on in the body, they're super, super, super easy to address, super easy to heal, especially the skin. Skin cells turn over every four weeks, every four to eight weeks. So if you've got eczema, if you've got psoriasis, if you have acne, four to eight weeks from now, you don't have to have it. But you've got to change the way you live, and you've got to do a few things. So nutritional supplementation, change the way you eat. It's not a lot. It's so tragic when I see folks with acne or eczema or psoriasis. I want to stop them and say, hey, listen. There's something you can do. You know, it's one thing if you have an internal health challenge, but on the outside of the body, now you have to deal with a psychological issue as well because we judge each other by our skin. If you're dealing with a skin health challenge or if you're dealing with any health challenge, let us help you. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com and order products right off the website. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you're interested in checking out any of our skin health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel. Okay, we're talking fats. So in our last program, we were talking about fats and fertility. The outside part of a cell, of all the cells in the body, the body's made up of cells and stuff. The stuff comes out of the cells like a Play-Doh extruder machine. Now, remember those little machines where you put Play-Doh in the top and you, you kind of press down on the handle and different shapes would come out? That's basically what a cell does, except it does it with proteins. And the body's made up of Play-Doh extruder machine cells and the proteins that come out of them. Fats compose the outside part of a cell, the membrane of a cell, all cells, including egg cells and sperm cells. In fact, egg cells and, and sperm cells in particular uh, have fatty membranes. The fatty component of egg cells and sperm cells is, is even more important, or the fatty makeup, fatty nature of, of uh, egg cells and sperm cells is even more important than in regular cells. That's because for them to interact, they interact at the level of the fatty membrane. That's called fertilization. And as the fetus is developing, its form and shape depend on healthy interactions between cell membranes. And again, that's a function of fats, especially omega-3 and omega-6 fats. So think of your essential fats, your essential fatty acids, and we'll talk a little bit, in a little bit we'll talk about what those are exactly, but think of your ultimate EFAs, your ultimate EFA+, plus, your essential fatty acids as membrane, Membrane nutrients, cell membrane nutrients, which means they're critical for helping cells communicate with each other, for helping cells talk to each other, because that's, that occurs at the membrane level. Speaking of eggs, an egg is a cell. When we eat our scrambled eggs, we're eating scrambled egg cells. 
when we eat hard-boiled eggs, we should be thinking of eating hard-boiled egg cells. So the next time you're at Denny's, ordering your poached eggs, ask the waitress for a couple of poached egg cells, and you'll be more accurate. And this is really important. I'm not just making a joke here. When we understand that eggs are egg cells, and when we really get that when we eat eggs, we're eating cells, it'll become clear and obvious why eggs are such a powerful food. Eating eggs is eating cells. And because cells have everything needed for a cell, that's why they're a cell. When we eat a cell, when we eat an egg, we're eating everything we need to make our own cells. There's no other food like that. Maybe yeast, actually. Yeast or yeast cells. When you eat cells that are intact whole cells, you're eating everything required to make a sperm cell, everything required to make an egg cell, everything required to make a brain cell, everything required to make a, a bone cell or an intestinal cell or a skin cell or any other cell. So eating eggs is eating cells, and eating cells is eating all the raw materials to make our cells, and that's why eggs are so darn amazing. Of course, to the degree you cook your egg, you're going to destroy those healthful compounds. The best eggs are going to be raw eggs. You've got to make sure they're fresh and they don't have any cracks in them. That's the best way. It's hard to come up. There's some powerful foods out there, okay? Whey protein, powerful food. Algae, powerful food. Uh, yeast, powerful food. Oysters, powerful food. Very underappreciated, by the way, oysters. Uh, there's lots of powerful foods out there. Dairy can be a powerful food, but nothing beats an egg. Nothing, nothing, nothing beats an egg in terms of raw material for building the body, for building cells. Sorry, vegans, that's just how it is. By the way, if you follow the NFL, there's a vegan, a famous vegan football player named Arian Foster. And Arian Foster is used by, you know, and I'm not beating up on vegans here, by the way, or vegetarians, but I'm just saying that if you're a vegan, you're gonna have a harder time to build and to stay strong. Arian Foster is a famous vegan, great running back if you follow football. And, uh, Anyway, he's, he, a couple years ago, it came out that he was a vegan. He, he was all proud. You know, vegans were using him as a poster child for how wonderful it could be to be a vegan. You could still be a big, strong, buff football player. Well, it turns out, every year, Arian Foster gets injured. Again, just Sunday, injured again, out for the year. Why? He's a vegan, probably. He's not getting the protein that he needs. He's not getting the eggs that he needs. He's not getting the fish that he needs. Now, I'm not here beating up on vegans or vegetarians. I'm just saying, if you are a vegan, you're going to find it a lot harder to get the nutrients that you need for building because human beings are omnivores, not vegavores, not plantivores. We're omnivores. We eat everything. Anyway, eggs are cells. That's why they're good for us. When you eat a hard-boiled egg, you're eating a hard-boiled egg cell. When you eat a scrambled egg, you're eating a scrambled egg cell. Eggs are cells. And then, we're and then we were talking about the membrane. If you hard boil an egg, you'll, uh, when you take off the shell, you're going to see a little coating on the cell, on, uh, underneath the shell. That's the membrane. And that membrane is important for keeping the cell inside flexible. Essential fatty acids in the cell membrane are key to keeping the, the membrane flexible. The components, the essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids play a key role in keeping the cell membrane moving, flexible. And it's also important in cell-to-cell -cell interactions. That's why it's important for building tissue. That's why EFAs are just as important for bone health as calcium. That's why EFAs are important for muscle health. Any of the tissue in the body that's building requires essential fatty acids. Bodybuilders know this. When I was lifting weights back in the 1980s, seriously, EFAs were a major, major, major part of most weightlifters, most bodybuilders' uh, programs, regimens. I've often said on this, on this program that if you want to really know about building health, about the health, uh, the health uh, uh, properties of building or the health dynamics, if you will, the health dynamics of building the body, read bodybuilding magazines, read weightlifting magazines. Weightlifters and bodybuilders are serious about building tissue. And we should all be weight, we should all be bodybuilders because we're all building bodies. And EFAs are a go-to resource for bodybuilders, weightlifters, athletes, and they should be for us as well. EFAs are important for the genetics, as we said yesterday. They turn the genetics on. They are the quintessential epigenetic factor. That means if you're deficient in EFAs or you're, not, or you're not absorbing them because of intestinal disease, liver disease, or get this, statin drug usage. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. Statin drugs can, can suppress essential fatty acid absorption from the gut. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a break and we'll be back right after this.
All right, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. You'll find longevity products at brightsideben.com, a Join the Team link that you can click on if you want to start yourself a longevity business, and you'll find an archive with all our four-plus years, four, maybe five years of programs on uh, brightsideben.com. You can also search benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up, and also check out our blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Thank you to Robert Lundgren and... Jonty Collier for setting those up. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Make sure you look at our retinol 5% gel. I'm not going to find that anywhere else, friends. 5% retinol. Nobody can believe when I go, um, I've been to New York now twice talking to Vogue and Cosmo and all the, all the people who make the, make the decisions on what we're going to see and what we're going to read about. And when I was talking to these beauty editors, they couldn't believe that there's a 5% retinol out there. That's because there is none except for the truth treatment products. The highest amount of retinol you're going to find in any products over the counter is going to be 1%, although now there's some 2% that are coming out now, but certainly nothing more than 2%, and definitely no 5%. Plus, of course, you're going to get vitamin C in there as well, and you'll also get it with no preservatives, no fragrance, no wax, no emulsifiers, nothing that can cause a problem and nothing that's wasted. You know, when you buy a typical skincare product, you're paying for stuff that your skin doesn't need or want, or in many cases has to detoxify, and you're paying for it. Preservatives and fragrances and waxes and emulsifiers and water. Anyway, you can find out all about the Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so it turns out that when you're using a statin drug, you get fatter. That's according to uh, uh, Medscape. Individuals prescribed statin therapy for high cholesterol levels have increased their caloric intake by nearly 10% and their intake of fat by 14%. What do you think that's about? Doctors mystify. They can't figure out why that is. Well, if you're listening to this program, you know more than your doctor because now you know that when you suppress cholesterol production, your body will send you out for more cholesterol and more fat. And what's worse is when you take a statin drug, that impairs the digestion and absorption of fat. So you keep eating the fat, but you don't, get a, you don't absorb it. You keep eating your EFAs, but you don't absorb it as well. You keep eating your vitamin A and your vitamin D and your vitamin E and your vitamin K and your fatty nutrients, and you don't absorb them as well. So your body sends you out for more fat and more calories. And that's why you get fat when you're on a statin drug. There's no, 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 no good time to take a statin drug for a long, or any drug for a long period of time. That's not what drugs do. I'm not going to beat up on statin drugs. We've done that enough. Actually, we'll talk a little bit about statin drugs and about cholesterol here tomorrow. If you're on a statin drug or you know somebody's on a statin drug, have them listen tomorrow. We'll talk about, uh, we'll talk about the silliness of, really, the silliness of using statin drugs, but we'll talk about, more important, we'll talk about cholesterol. Anyway, as far as, uh, as, far as EFA go, EFAs go, progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, repair hormones, all of these depend on essential fatty acids for their effects. Progesterone depends on EFAs, essential fats, for their effects. Why? Same with estrogen, same with testosterone, same with cholesterol and growth and repair hormones, or uh, your cholesterol hormones, because that's, that's probably the more accurate way of saying them. For their effects, for all of these youth and fertility and, and growth hormones to, and anti-aging hormones to have their effects, you've got to have enough EFAs. Why? Because for these hormones to be effective, they've got to penetrate through the membrane. And the membrane's made up of EFAs. If you don't have enough EFAs and your body is replacing them, sticking them into the, to, to the membrane instead of essential fatty acids, your steroid hormones, your, your cholesterol hormones aren't going to penetrate that membrane as effectively. And that means everything, everything a cell is, uh, that a cell is supposed to do is going is to happen less effectively. It's going to make stuff less effectively. It's going to detoxify itself less effectively. It's going to secrete growth factors and proteins less effectively. So EFAs have another role to play in keeping us healthy. They help our steroid hormones work more effectively. If you're thinking that you might want to be supplementing with your ultimate EFAs, you're right. If you're thinking that uh, maybe it's time to throw in some ultimate EFAs into your daily regimen, or if you're taking, you're already on your ultimate EFAs, if you're thinking you may want to increase them, you're probably right. EFAs are your youth and fertility essential nutrients via this youth and fertility hormone effect. On the bright side, we're always saying all disease is cell disease, but really all 
disease is cell membrane disease. So all disease is cell disease, and all cell disease is membrane disease. And by the way, that includes cancer. Cancer is the quintessential cell membrane disease.